Learn to Read with Mrs. Phipps and Snoothy in 15 minutes a day. You can learn to read with Mrs. Phipps and Snoothy, Mrs. Phipps and Snoothy, Mrs. Phipps and Snoothy. You can read and write with Mrs. Phipps and Snoothy, starting with the alphabet. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters. Twenty-six is all you get. <laughs> Learning how to read is so much fun. It's so much fun for everyone. If you wanna learn your ABCs, then sing along with me. Let's go! A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Those are the letters. Now you know the alphabet. Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. Mrs. Phipps will show you now. First, we'll learn the letter A. Sounds like a. Sometimes a. First, we'll learn the letter A. Sounds like a or a. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our classroom. I have some other boys and girls in here, and I'd like for you to meet them. Say hello, boys and girls. And also, I have a new student today. Hi. This is Snoopy. Hi. Oh, don't be afraid. Oh, she's only five years old. She's sucking her thumb, I think. She's a Snoopy Guzzle Smart, and you know what? She speaks Guzzle, so you met, might have a little hard time understanding her, but I'll help you. No, I don't have any trouble. No, and I'll help them, okay? Okay, are you all ready to learn today? Oh, yes, because learning is such fun. This is the letter we're going to learn today. Anybody know what this letter is? A. A. A is a very special letter because when it stands alone, it is a word. It says A, and it also has two sounds. It says its name, A, and it says A. Ah. What sound does A make? A. Ah. Ah. Right. Come on over, and I'll show you how to write the letter A. Come on over to our board. Look, we always have the green, yellow, and red lines. And we'll start on the black dot. Now, to make the capital letter A, you start on the black dot, you go slanted line down or a lazy line down to the red line. Uh-huh. And you cross it right in the middle. It's a capital letter A. Chad, look. This is how you make the small letter A. You go up and touch the yellow. Now, this is the hard part, boys and girls. Remember, you have to go up and touch the yellow, down and touch the red, go back up and touch the yellow. Listen to that marker. And come straight down to the red line. Small letter A, capital letter A. What sound does A make? A. Ah. Ah. Hey, would you like to learn to read a word that starts with A? Would you? Would you? Watch. Come on over here. Okay, now what letter is this? I bet you all know what I'm going to make. A. Whoops, made a kind of a lazy line there. A and A says A. Ah. And this is a letter T. What sound does T make? T. Ah. Let's sound it. A. Ah. A. Ah. Up. Well, now you know the letter A. Now we've learned the letter A. Sounds like A, sometimes A. Now that we've learned the letter A, let's go to letter B. B sounds like B. Well, hello. We're just waiting on our snoozy gusher no, smart so that we can start no, 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 no. class. <laughs> Oh, hey, you've just invented a new game. It's Glover Stink. It's Glover Stink? Uh -huh. Well, you know, usually what we do is we have a bat and we have a ball, not a balloon. Aww. But you know what? It looked like great fun. <laughs> and Andrea's going to hold our balloon for us, okay? And that is also perfect because we're going to take this letter today. What is this letter, boys and girls? B. B. And what sound does B make? B. B. Come on over here and I'll teach you how to make a capital letter B and a small letter B. Look, we always have these lines, green, yellow, and red. And we'll start on the black dot to make our capital letter B. 
go straight down to the red line, go back up to the dot, make a small hump into the yellow line, and a larger bubble for the to the red line. That's a capital letter B. What sound does B make? B. B. Now, to make a small letter B, you will not pick up your marker. Kyle, watch this. You go straight down to the red line, and then you go back up almost to the yellow, and you go around and make a bubble or a balloon. Yes, and I could hear my marker squeal. What letter? B. What sound? B. Hey, would you like to learn to read a word that starts with B? Snoopy is always ready to learn. Mmm, I know this word. This will be a good word. See if you can tell me the sound. What letter? B. 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 Kyle is ahead of me. What letter is this? C. No, it's an A. What a. sound does A make? A. 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 And let's a. see. Well, stay with me. You may already know this, but let's help the boys and girls at home. What letter is this? T. Let's sound it. B. A. a. B. A. A. B. A. B. A. B. B. A. B. And now you know. Just like you. And now you know the letter B. Now we've learned the letter B sounds like B. Letter B. Now that we've learned the letter B, let's go to letter C. C sounds like C. Well, hello. You know what? Snoozy just went to get us a surprise. Meow. 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 Oh, what have you got here? You, you found a cat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what? Micah was missing this morning. Let me see who's under this mask. And there is Micah. Oh, that was cute, Snoopy. <laughs> you found a cat. You know what? That is perfect because we're going to take this letter today. What is this letter, boys and girls? C. C says K. K. Hi. Hey, would you like to learn to write? A letter C? How about you? How about you? Come on over to our board. Right, we always have our green, yellow, and red lines. And we always start on the black dot. You know, a C is a little difficult, but watch and I'll show you how. The first thing that you have to do, most boys and girls want to come straight down, but that's not what we're going to do. No, no, no. You have to go up, go up and touch the green line, come around, down, sit on the red, and up just a little. What letter is that? C. What sound does C make? C. Now, a small letter C is just like a large letter C, except that it starts right under the yellow line, goes up and touches the yellow line, sits on the red, and up just a little. What letter is that? C. And what sound does C make? C. Ooh, I have a perfect word for us to read today. What's this? Um, what letter is this? C. What sound does C make? K. What letter is this? A. What sound does A make? A. And this is the letter T. What sound does T make? T. Oh, I'm surprised you knew that. K. A. Slide it. K. A. Cat. Oh, some of you were faster than me. Right, like the cat that you brought us today. And now we know the letter C. Now we've learned the letter C sounds like K, letter C. Now that we've learned the letter C, let's go to letter D. D sounds like D. Well, good morning. Hey, I'd like for you to look at my class. Snoopy brought something for show and tell. Come on up here, Snoopy, so we can get a so we can get a little better look at this. <laughs> You know, boys and girls have dolls that look like boys and girls, and Snoopy has a Snoopy doll. Uh -huh. Oh, that is so cute. Hold that in your arms, and we can do a finger game. Remember this one? Everybody do this one with me. You do this with me, too. Pick your arms like this. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, 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 so she called for the doctor to come. Quick, quick, quick. He came with his bag and his hat, and he knocked on the door with a rat, tat, tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly, put this dolly straight to bed. So he wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. He said, I'll be back tomorrow with my bill, bill, bill. Good job. Wasn't that fun? 
I'm glad you brought your dolly. Does it have a name? Uh huh. Calliope. Calliope? Oh, you know what? That is perfect because we're going to study this letter today. Whoops, if I can get it right. What is this letter? D. D. You know, D says duh, as in dolly. It's dolly. Calliope? Come on over here. Well, that's a different sounding name. I'll show you how to make the capital letter D and the small letter D. Uh -huh. Look, we always have our green, yellow, and red lines. We'll start on the black dot. Put your marker on the black dot or your pencil on the black dot. Go straight down to the red line. Boy, that wasn't so straight. Straight down to the red line. Pick your marker back up. Go to the dot. Go around. It's almost like a half of a circle. I think someone just fell out of their chair over there, Snoopy. Oh, it's okay. I don't think she was hurt. Start on the dot. Go up to the yellow line. Come around. It's almost like you're making a C or an O or an A, but you go all the way up to the green line, all the way back down to the red line. What letter is that? D. What sound does D make? D. Oh, I have a perfect word for you to sound today. What's this? Now, you know what letter I'm going to make here. What letter is this? D. What sound? D. Mm-hmm. What is this letter right here? O. What sound? A. And when we have two letters that are just the same, they only have one sound. You just play like there's one letter. Two letters that are just the same. That's an L. What sound does L make? U. Now let's sound it. Da. A. L. Da. A. L. Slide it. Da. A. L. Da. A. L. That's right. And now you know the sound of D. And now we've learned the letter D. It sounds like duh, the letter D. So won't you sing along with me? Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. All right, Snoothy, I'll tell them. Snoothy says that's our 15-minute lesson for today. You can either stop the tape now or go on to our next 15-minute lesson. See you later. It's playtime. It's time for our next lesson. 15 minutes is all it takes. Now sing the alphabet with me. Are you ready? All right then, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Are you ready now? Now we'll learn the letter E. Sounds like E. Sometimes E. Now we'll learn the letter E. Sounds like E or E. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoozy. Hello. I hope you had a good playtime. Boys and girls, would you say hello to the boys and girls at home? Oh, I think they're a little bashful today. And I wonder where our Snoopy is. She's supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> the Easter bonnet? Uh -huh. That is perfect, except it's not Easter, Snoopy. Uh -oh. but, you know, but you brought some eggs? Uh huh, I see. Ooh, now this is an. I don't think you can cook these eggs. No. No, these are. Oh, and here's one for me. Uh huh. And this one, look at this one. This is an unusual egg. It's wooden, I believe. A g got it at Guzzle Alley, huh? Ooh, look at that one. Listen to it. Hmm, I think it's made of glass. You know what? It's not Easter, but that's pretty perfect because we're going to take this letter today. It's the letter that this starts with. Let's see. Any of you know what letter this is? E. E. E is a special letter. It has two sounds. It says its name, E, as in Easter, and it says E, as in egg. Easter egg. Perfect. I'm glad you brought it, even though it's not Easter. But you know what? Egg hunts are such fun, aren't they? That's one of the most fun things for five-year-olds and six-year-olds and I think even seven-year-olds. 
Watch. Green, yellow, and red lines, always. We'll start on the black dot on the green line to make the capital letter E. Listen to that squeaky marker. Come all the way down to the red line. Go back up. Put an arm on the green line, an arm on the yellow line, and an arm on the red line. What letter is that? E. e. What sound does E make? E. 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 And the small letter E. Now, I tell you what, it's a little difficult. So watch me. Watch, Snoopy. Start on the dot, and you go straight across. That doesn't seem too hard, does it? But then you have to go up to the yellow line, around, and sit on the red. And my marker does not want to behave today. Come around. See how it doesn't want to behave right there? Come around. Oh, now how about that? Small letter E. Capital letter E. What sound is E? It does say its name sometimes because it is a vowel, but it says eh. And that's the sound we're going to learn. Eh. Oh, I know a word that we can sound. Would you like to learn to read a word? Good. Watch me. This letter, I bet you know what I'm going to make, don't you? E. What letter is this? E. E. And it says e. e. And this letter is, it's a lawbreaker. It's going to go under the, gr uh, the red line. And there's two. When there's, that's a G, that's right. And when there's two letters just the same, you play like there's only one. It only has one sound. So we have two sounds up here. Egg. 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 No, not an egg -aga. That's right. And you know what? A lot of boys and girls do that. Watch. Egg. When there's two letters just the same, you play like there's only one. Egg. What was it? Egg. Egg. Right. Like Easter egg. And now you know the letter E. Now we've learned the letter E, sounds like E, eh, sometimes E. Now that we've learned the letter E, let's go to letter F. F sounds like F. Hello. You know what? We're about to take a brand new letter today. And the... Oh, let Can I see what you brought today? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know what, Snoopy? Uh, you were smelling the flowers? Uh-huh. Well, boys and girls, these happen to be wooden flowers. Oh. Uh-huh, listen. You can hear them. See, listen. Oh. And what else did you bring me? Me, Yes, thank you. Uh-huh. You know what? That's perfect, because we're going to take that letter today, the one that says F, as in flowers and fan. And that is, what is this letter? F. F. And what sound does F make? F. F. As in flowers and fan. F. Come on over and I'll teach you how to write the letter F. Now first, look at our green, yellow, and red lines. Always we have these lines. And to start on the black dot on the green line, and you come straight down to the red line, and then you go back up to the green, and you put an arm on the green, and an arm on the yellow. And Snoopy is saying, pay attention, boys and girls. <laughs> Thank you, Snoopy. Uh -huh. And this is the capital letter F. What sound does F make? Th. 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 Not th, but th. It just kind of pops out of your mouth. You have to bite your lip. Th. Right. Now, to make the small letter F, we'll start on the black dot. Now, what's this? You have to go up first. Go up and touch the green line, and you've got to come straight down to the red. Now, what most boys and girls want to do, and cross it in the middle, most boys and girls want to make a crooked back. The back has to be straight on the small letter F. Capital F, small F. What sound does F make? F. 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 Right, Snoopy. Oh, I have a perfect word for us to read today. Watch this. Of course, I know you know what I'm going to write right here. What letter is this? F. And what sound does F make? F. Huh? And what letter is this? A. What sound does A make? A. Ah. And this is the letter N. And N says N. Now sound it with me. F. N. F. N. Fan. Good. You're catching on so well. And now you know the letter F. Now we've learned the letter F, sounds like F, letter F. Now that we've learned the letter F, let's go to letter G. G sounds like G. 
Oh, I think that was the bell. Have a great day. Have a great day? Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh, I see. You brought me some grapes. Uh -huh. Oh, and these are such pretty grapes. Yum, yum. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't think you can eat these. No, no listen. Uh -oh. Hmm. I think these are called jaded grapes. Not ripe. Not ripe. No. They'll never be ripe. Oh. Mm. No. These are not the kind that you eat. These are the kind that you set on a table to look real pretty. You know what? These are made of wood. Hey, that's pretty. Oh, and there's another set in here. They look oh. sort of like onyx or something. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought these to me. They're very pretty. And also, I know you knew what we were going to study today, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, because we're going to study this letter right here. What letter is this, boys and girls? G. G. That's right. I'm going to set her grapes right down there. This is the letter G. And G says... G. You know what? You can feel the sound of G. Put your hand right here by your throat. G. 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 Can you feel that, Snoopy? <laughs> Come on over here and I'll teach you how to make the capital letter G and the small letter G. Now look, we always have our green, yellow, and red line. And we'll start on the black dot. Now watch this. To make a capital letter G, you have to go up first. Now remember, this is a hard thing. Go up and touch the green line. Go around, down, sit on the red, up just a little. Oh, it looks like a C. No, it's not going to be a C. Maybe it's going to be an O. No. You put a tongue in it, and it's a G. <laughs> That's true. You put the tongue in there. That is a G. What sound does G make? G. G. That's right. Now, the small letter G. It's a little more difficult. Watch. Go up first, touch the yellow line. Go around like you're going to make an O. All the way up, touch the yellow line. Maybe it's going to be an A. Maybe it is going to be a small a. Uh -huh. No, it is a lawbreaker. It does not stop on red. It goes down and goes fishing. See the hook? <laughs> G. Small letter G. What sound does G make? G. G. Oh, I know a word that we can write. What's this? See if you can sound this word. Well, tell me, what is this letter? G. What sound does G make? G. 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 And this is a small letter. What is this? Do you remember? E. What sound does E make? E. Eh. And this is a small letter T. And T says T. Now sound it with me. G. E. G. E. Get. Get me some grapes. And you did. And you know what? Now you know the sound of G. Now we've learned the letter G sounds like G. Letter G. Now that we've learned the letter G, let's go to letter H. H sounds like H. Okay, girls, I think it's time to start class. You want to go over there and sit down? <laughs> oh, what do you have? Oh, this is <laughs> She has a Halloween basket. I don't think I've ever heard of that before, oh, Snoopy. Guzzle Alley, you when you're home. Oh, you do this in Guzzle Alley? Well, um, it's not Halloween. Mm -mm. It's not Halloween, but it's all right to have a Halloween oh, basket. Yeah. Right, because you brought me an Easter basket, and it wasn't Easter. Uh -huh. Look, there's a spider and the web. Ooh, oh, and there's something else in here. A bat. And look, there's a witch. Uh -huh. Oh, how neat. Snoopy, I don't think I've ever seen a Halloween basket before. But you know what? That's perfect because we're going to take the letter that that starts with. Anybody know? What is this letter right here? H. H. That's right. And what sound does H make? It's kind of like you're out of breath. Right. H. Come over here and I'll teach you how to make the capital letter H and the small letter H. Now watch Snoopy. You start on the black dot. You go straight down to the red line. You come back up and you move over just a little bit. Now watch. You make another straight line down. Oh, I know. I've made two ones or two L's. No, I haven't. No, this is going to be a capital letter H. I'm going to make this line a little thicker right through here, okay? All right, now that's the capital letter H. The capital letter H is so easy, isn't it? Now look on the small letter H. You start on the black dot. Watch. Go down to the red line, but do you pick up your marker? No. no. Uh -uh. On most small letters, you do not pick up your marker. You go back up. Just before you get to the le yellow line, you make a hump and come down to the red line. Oh. Capital H, small H. What sound does H make? Oh. oh, I know a word. 
This word almost sounds like the sound of H. This is the capital letter H. What sound does H make? <gasps> this is a small letter O. O says ah, and this is a small letter T. And T says, let's sound it. H a t, h a t, hot, hot. And when you're hot, you make the sound of H. Listen to her; she's getting really hot. Okay, make the sound of H. And now you know the sound of H. And now we've learned the letter H. It sounds like H, the letter H. So won't you sing along with me? Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Oh, all right, Snoothy. I'll tell them. Snoothy says that's our 15-minute lesson for today. You can either stop the tape now or go on to our next 15-minute lesson. See you later. It's playtime. It's time for our next lesson. Fifteen minutes is all it takes. Now sing the alphabet with me. Are you ready? All right then. Let's go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Are you ready now? Now we'll learn the letter I. Sounds like E. Sometimes I. Now we'll learn the letter I. Sounds like E or I. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. All right, are you guys ready for class? Okay. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, 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 poor Snoopy. Oh. What happened to you, Snoopy? You've been shot? I don't think so. Anybody could be shot by this arrow. Look at this. How did that happen, Snoopy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found an Indian, huh? And I don't believe that they still shoot arrows. Did you know that? But this was a good trick. And you know what? I have a good finger game that we could do. Chris, go over there and sit down, and you can help me with this. You can help me with this too. Now watch. Everybody, get two fingers up. Put it behind your head. Okay. Are you ready? Once there was a brave little Indian, and he wanted to shoot a bear. So he picked up his bows and his arrows, and he went walking through the woods until he came to a river. And he jumped in and he swam across the river. And he went walking on through the woods until he came to a tall bridge. And he walked across the bridge. Right. Then he went walking on through the woods until he came to a tall tree. And he peeked around the tree and he saw a bear. So he ran back through the woods, back over the bridge, back through the woods, back through the river. Come on, Snoopy, swim. Back through the woods. And he put down his bow and his arrows, and he said, "I just saw a bear. He wasn't too brave, was he? No, he even stuttered a little bit. Come on over to the board. Oh, would you go over there and get me the marker while I do this? Boys and girls, look. Here is our green, yellow, and red lines, and I'm going to show you how to make a capital letter I and a small letter I. Now watch. We always have these colored lines, and we always start on the black dot." We go down to the red line, straight down. Actually, a capital letter I is very easy to make.、What? Put a top on. Ooh, it looks like a tall T. And then we put a bottom on, and that is a capital letter I. I, I says I. I. Actually, I has two sounds. It says its name I, and it says I. And when it's alone, it is a word. When it stands alone, it's a word. It says I, I. like I love you. I love. Oh, I love you too. Now watch. For a small letter I, start on the yellow line, go down to the red, and listen to this, boys and girls. I makes the sound of its dot. I. I. Did you hear it? I. Right there. 
And make sure that the dot does not touch the eye. Mmm, I know a word that we can read. Watch. Watch, I'm going to make this letter. What is this letter? I. And this is a small letter, N. And N says, N. Now sound it with me. Stay with me. N. 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 What? N. Like an end in or inside, Becky. And now you know the sound of I. I. Now we've learned the letter I sounds like I. Sometimes I. Now that we've learned the letter I, let's go to letter J. J sounds like J. Well, this is the letter we're going to take today. This is the capital letter J. J, and it has a top on it. You know, you don't have to put the top on the J, but I like it there. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of like you. Right. Hey, I know a game we can play. Oh. It's called a jack-in-the-box. Do you know what a jack-in-the-box is? No. Do you know, Snoopy? No. Well, it's a little box, and it has a little man, and you press him down in that box, close the lid, and then you turn, and there's music, and all of a sudden he'll jump out. No. No. We can do that. Boys and girls, come on. Let's help Snoopy. Snoopy, you can do this with us, and you can do this with us, too. Put your hand on your head. Ready? Jack-in-the-box, still as a mouse. Deep down inside his little dark house. Jack-in-the-box. Resting so still, will he come out? Yes, he will. <laughs> I know that was great fun, wasn't it? Come on over here, and I'll teach you how to make the capital letter J. Always we have a green, yellow, and red line. You start on the black dot. Now watch. You go straight down to the red, and just before you get to the red, you put a hook on it. J. Now, you could leave it like that, but like I said, I like the hat on it. Now, to make a small letter J, remember, a small letter J is a lawbreaker. It does not stop on red. It goes down. Oh, it doesn't stop. Instead, it goes fishing. It has a hook on it. And it also has a dot, like the small letter I. And I know a good word that we could sound, too. Boys and girls, would you sit down over there and help us sound this word? What, Snoopy? You know what I'm going to make right here. What is this letter? J. J. And what sound does J make? J. J. Good job. Job starts with an A, J. What is this letter? Small letter A. What sound does A make? A. A. And what is this letter? You know this letter, too. My marker doesn't want to behave. What is this letter? C. C and C says C. And this letter right here is a small letter K, and it makes exactly the same sound as the C. So we're going to draw, draw a line under it. Okay, so we'll only give it one sound. Now help me sound. J. Act. Jack. Act. What? Jack. Yeah. Like Jack in the box and jumping out. And now you know the sound of J. Now we've learned the letter J sounds like J. Letter J. Now that we've learned the letter J, let's go to letter K. K sounds like K. Well, boys, I think boys and girls, you better go take your seat over there. I think it's time for time for class, and here's our students. What did you find? <laughs> I don't think so, but they do sort of look like that. Yes. No, you know what these are called? Look, you can see here that they're a fruit. Uh huh. They're a fruit, and they're grown in Australia, and they're called kiwis. Kiwis. And you thought that the monkey had laid an egg. Oh, that's sweet. You know what? We'll peel one of these in a moment. It has a taste like a strawberry banana. Oh, True. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's delicious. We'll try that. All right, and that is perfect. Would you hold these just a moment? Uh-huh. That's what we're studying today, the sound of k. What letter makes that sound? Do you know? K. Oh, I heard the boys and girls. K, right. K or C. K. Kiwi. Now, I want to tell you, this is the, this is the K. K has this very same sound as C, and you won't know if it's a C or a K. But I can tell you this. Most words start with a C when you hear the K sound. But kiwi happens to start with a K. Monkey egg. Kiwi. Good for you. You learned a new word today. Come on over, and I'll show you how to make a capital letter K. Look, boys and girls, we always have our green, yellow, and red lines. And we'll have a black dot here to start our capital K on. Go straight down to the red line. Come back up. Move over a little bit, almost like you're going to make an H. 
but you go lazy line into the yellow, lazy line out to the red. That's a capital K. And a small letter K, Snoopy, is just like the capital K, except instead of starting on the green line, we go in and out. We started on the yellow, we go in and then out to the red. Capital K, small K. What sound does K make? K, K. I know a word. I know a word that we can read. Would you all like to learn to read a word? Would you? Well, what's this? All right, we'll go. What is this letter? K. K. What sound does K make? K. K. This letter, you know this letter. What is this letter? I. I says I. I. And this letter, you know also. This is a small letter. What? Small letter D. What sound does D make? D. D. Let's sound it now. K. I. D. K. I. D. Kid. Kid. You know what? I think it's acceptable to call children kids. Yes. And now you know the sound of K. Now we've learned the letter K sounds like K. Letter K. Now that we've learned the letter K, let's go to letter L. L sounds like O. Okay, you guys better get in your seat so we can do another letter. I know exactly what you mean. You know, this is not an orange. This is a lemon. Lemon tree, very pretty. But it doesn't taste so pretty, does it? I <laughs> know. It is very sour. Here, would you hold this? That was perfect, though. Did you know we were doing the letter L today? No. Yes, we are. We're going to study the letter L. This is the letter L. What sound does L make? Ugh. You put your tongue at the top of your mouth and you go, ugh. Try it. Ugh. Ooh, come on and bring your lemon over here, and I'll teach you how to make the capital letter L and the small letter L. Always we have our green, yellow, and red lines. Watch, start on the black dot, go straight down to the red line, and then you put an arm across on the red. Whoops, I got a little wavy there on the red line. L is a very easy letter to make. What sound? Oh. Ooh. Now a small letter L, well that's about as simple as it gets. Look, straight down. The hard part's making it straight. Did I do that okay? Uh-huh. All right. Capital letter L, small letter L. What sound does L make? Oh. Ugh. You know what? I know a word that we can sound. You want to help me? Uh-huh. You want to help me? Come on. Let's try it. Now, I'm, of course, I'm going to write this letter first. What is this letter? L. L. You know what? This is not all my fault because this marker doesn't want to mark real well. That's right. Marker behave. Okay, and then L says, oh, now what's this letter? You know this letter. E. e? What sound does E make? E. Eh. And this is the small letter T. And T says, T. T. Now sound with me. E. Ooh, et. Ooh, et. Let. Let. Let's let Snoopy entertain us some more with this lemon. And now you know the sound of L. Now we've learned the letter L. It sounds like O, the letter L. So won't you sing along with me? Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. All right, Snoothy, I'll tell them. Snoothy says that's our 15-minute lesson for today. You can either stop the tape now or go on to our next 15-minute lesson. See you later. It's playtime. It's time for our next lesson. 15 minutes is all it takes. Now sing the alphabet with me. Are you ready? All right, then. Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Are you ready now? 
Now we'll learn the letter M. Sounds like mmm, letter M. Now we'll learn the letter M. M sounds like mmm. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoozy. Well, I hope you had a nice playtime. Would you like to say hello to my boys and girls in here today? Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. All right, and you know what letter we're going to do now? The letter M. Josh is helping me with this, and so Chris brought me something that's going to go with this letter M. Look, M. M. You know what sound M makes? Mm. Mm. Put your mouth together and say, mmm. Mm. Thank you, Josh, for bringing me that letter. Chris brought me something. Starts with M. He said it was magic. Oh. Look, well, actually, it's just money. Money, 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 money. The money is behind the pink ribbon, right? Don't you agree? The money was behind the pink ribbon. You won't forget that, right? You won't forget that. You forgot that. The money's behind the blue ribbon. It is magic. Oh, look. It's back behind the pink ribbon. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for bringing it today. Magic and starts with an M. Come on over here and I'll teach you how to make the capital letter M. M and the small letter M. Watch. Here's our dot. Start on our green, yellow, and red lines. We start on the green line, of course. On the black dot, we go lazy line down to the M. Pick your marker back up. Go down. You can go back up. Whoops, I got a little crooked there. And back down. Looks like two mountains. Um, mountains no, start with M. Okay. Now, a small letter M. You start on the yellow line. You go straight down. Do you pick your marker up? No. No. Most small letters, you do not pick your marker up. You go back up. Put a hump on the yellow line. Now, go right back up that same line. And right before you get to the yellow line, you put another hump. M. What sound does M make? Mmm. Mm. Oh, I know a le I know a word. This is a very handy word. You all need to know how to spell this. What is this letter now? M. M. I put my hump sorted together this time. M. What sound does it make? M. Mm. This is the letter O. O says ah. And here is a small letter M. All right. Now let's sound it. Let's sound it. M. Mm. Um. M -om. Mom. I told you that's a neat word to know. Mom. And now you know the sound of M. Now we've learned the letter M. Sounds like M. Letter M. Now that we've learned the letter M, let's go to letter N. N sounds like M. Well, our, our ladies over here, they're reading the paper. There's only one thing, Snoopy. Uh-huh. There's something wrong. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The paper's upside down. Uh-huh. I bet you could read it better that way. She's reading the funnies. No. No. How? Like that. Hey, that's pretty good. You know what? You can read the newspaper. I bet you all can't read the newspaper, but you can pick out some words that you know in it. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, oh, and newspaper's just what we needed because we're going to take this letter today. Or right now. This is the capital letter N. N. N says N. Put your tongue at the top of your mouth and say N. N. Good job. Come on over here and I'll teach you how to make an N. And you know what? This is a very hard letter for five and six-year-olds. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Look at the lines. Green, yellow, and red. The first thing you do is go straight down to the red line. And here is an easy way so that you'll remember never to get it upside down. You make a nut, scoot over a little bit and make another line down just like the capital H. Looks oh, like the H. Except you come back now and lay the lazy line in last. Oh. It makes an N. What sound does N make? Oh. Mm. Small letter N is just... They told me it was crooked. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, the line is crooked. Some boys and girls want to do this, though. They want to make it look like that. And that will never happen if you'll do it just like I told you. No, no. No, no. Let's put an X on that, okay? Uh -huh. Now, start on the dot to make the small letter N. Go down. Do you pick your marker up? No. No, not on a small letter. Come up, almost to the yellow line, and put a hump on it. One hump no. is an N. What sound does N make? Mm. Mm. Right. Hey, I have a word that we can sound. Come on over here, Snoopy. Right, watch this. This is a small, this is a capital letter. And did you see how I made that? I made it a little differently. 
Okay, that's in. In says n. This is a small letter e. What does it say? E. Eh. This is a small letter s. S says. And this is no, no whistle on that. Just put your teeth together. Put your teeth together and say. This is a small letter t, and it says. Huh. Now let's sound it. N. Eh. N. Eh. Nest. Good. That was a four-letter word, nest. You did really well, and now you know the sound of N. Now we've learned the letter N. Sounds like N, letter N. Now that we've learned the letter N, let's go to letter O. Sounds like O or O. Look at the joker here, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is our next letter. Thank you. Thank you. She was using it for a frame, right? Anybody know what letter this is? O. O. And you know what? You're going to always start at the top on the O. A lot of boys and girls want to start at the bottom, but you don't. You start at the top. I'll show you how in just a moment. This letter O has two sounds. It says its name, O, and it says, ah. Like when you go to the doctor, he says, say, ah. You know what? I have a finger game we can do. Open. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them slowly up to your chin. Open your mouth. Oh, but don't let them in. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Till your shoulders fly. Like little birdies flutter to the sky. Falling softly almost to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round. Faster, 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 faster. Clap. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Lay them in your lap. Hey, that was fun, wasn't it? I hope you did that with us. Come on, Snoopy. I'll teach you how to make the capital letter O for open or ah. Always you're going to start on this black dot. Now, pay real close attention because this is important. The first thing you have to do is you have to go up to the green line. Come all the way down to the red. Ooh, it looks like a C, doesn't it? But you close it then. Capital letter O and the small letter O is just like it, except you're going to touch the yellow line, set it on the red, and close it. And you know, this marker skipped a spot right there, too. It either wants to, to squeak or to skip, huh? And I have a word that we can sound, too. What's this? Oh, I heard someone say octopus, and it does start with an O, but this, that word is too long. What letter? O. What sound does O make? Ah. And what letter is this? Small n, and n says n. Mm. Sound it with me. On, on, on. Like turn on the light. And now you know the sound of O. Now we've learned the letter O. Sounds like O, sometimes O. Now that we've learned the letter O, let's go to letter P. Like, huh. Well, guess what our next letter is? Here's James over here, and here's Snoopy. Snoopy, what did you bring? Sticky fruit. Sticky fruit. Uh -huh. Well, not really, because this is a pineapple. Oh. Pineapple. You know, this is not exactly what you would think it would look like. When you eat it out of a can, it's just yellow slices, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah, it's kind of yeah. sticky, you're right. But the way you do it is you peel this, and look, oh. you take the bottom. And it's really good. Cool. You peel, oh, it is really good. You peel the bottom and peel the outside, and that juicy pineapple's on the inside. Pineapple. And this letter. What is this letter right here? Thanks, James. What is this letter? P. What is the sound of P? P. P. All right, thank you, guys. Come on over here to the board, and we'll learn how to make the capital letter P and the small letter P. Come on, Snoopy. You can put your pineapple down right now. Here's our green, yellow, and red line. We'll make our black dot. To make the capital letter P, you come straight down to the red line, go back to the dot, you make a half circle or a hump. Oh, you know what? That looks like a half of a B. But that's it, the capital letter P. P says P. Small letter P, you can make it two ways. You can do it just like you did the big one. It is a lawbreaker. Look, it did not stop on red. It hangs down below the red line. You can come back and put the bubble on it just like that. That's not a very good bubble. You can do it that way, or you can do this. You can go down, back up that same line. It's a little harder to do this. 
and go around like this. Small letter P. What sound does P make? P. Oh, and I have a word for us today. Watch. Of course, this letter is P. What sound does P make? P. This is a small letter. O. What sound does O make? A. And like in popcorn, she said, ooh, what is this letter? P. Now let's sound it. P. Op. P. Op. Pop. Pop. Like, just like she just did. She just popped out of there. And now you know the letter P. And now we've learned the letter P. It sounds like P, the letter P. So won't you sing along with me? Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Oh, all right, Snooty. I'll tell them. Snooty says that's our 15-minute lesson for today. You can either stop the tape now or go on to our next 15-minute lesson. See you later. It's playtime. It's time for our next lesson. Fifteen minutes is all it takes. Now sing the alphabet with me. Are you ready? All right then, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Are you ready now? Now we'll learn the Q and U. Sounds like qua. Q and U. Now we'll learn the Q and U. Q, U sounds like qua. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. I hope you had a nice playtime. Oh, look, Snoopy is getting old. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, well, let me see that. What is this? You brought a banky. No, this is not a banky. This is a quilt. That's right. When they're put together out of several different pieces. And would you look at this? The colors match her. How nice. It is yours. It's a quilt and, of course, an umbrella. How convenient. Since we're going to take these two letters today, we're going to talk about the letter Q and the letter U. Now, I want to talk about this letter U first. All right? This is the capital letter U. U has two sounds. It says its name, and it also says, uh. I call it the dumb sound. When you don't know what you're saying, you usually say, uh. And that's the sound that you make. Qua. Qua. Together. Josh already knows. This is the Q, and you know what? You never see this Q without the U. You always see them together. Q, U. And the two sounds together are qua, just like John said. Qua. 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 Come on over, and I'll talk about it over here, and I'll teach you how to make one. Q and U. We're taking two letters this time. All right, we're going to make the capital letter Q first. Capital Q is made almost like the capital O. Look, you have to go up first. Now, remember, that's the hard part, going up first. Come on down to the red line and go close it right there. The marker, oh. I know, the marker would misbehave right there, too, and I'll close it a little better. That is an O, but to make a Q, you have to put a tongue in it. <laughs> that is true. Q. The capital letter Q, and then, of course, we'll have the capital letter U. Now, you can either put a stem on the side, or you don't have to. It doesn't matter. Now, the small letter Q, follow me over here. It's going to look like, it's going to look like I'm making a C. No. Am I making an O? No. Am I making an A? No. Oh, maybe I'm making a G because it's a lawbreaker, except that it hooks the opposite way. That's a small letter Q. Remember, the hook is different. It's the opposite way of the small G. And the small U is just like the capital U, except that it goes under the yellow line. Q, U, Q, U. Remember, you never see Q without the letter U. Qua, qua. When it stands alone, this U says uh or you. And I have a perfect word for us to sound. 
What's this, boys and girls? Here is the capital letter. What? Q. Q. Remember the tongue? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that's so funny. Q-U, always together. Qu, and this is a small letter, I. I says, I. What letter is this? L. L says, U. And this is the small letter, T. And T says, T. Now, let's sound. Remember, these two have the same sound. They go together. Qu, I, U, T. Qu, I, L, T. Quilt. Quilt. Just like... Just like your banky, uh -huh. just like her quilt. And now you know the sound of Q and U. Now we've learned the Q and U sounds like qua. Q and U. Now that we've learned the Q and U, let's go to letter R. R sounds like er. Jeremy and Trey are helping us with our letter today, and here comes Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna rock around the clock. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, she is gonna rock around the clock tonight. She brought us some rocks, some pretty rocks. You know what? I don't know of any child that does not like to look at rocks. I like to look at rocks. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at there. Oh, very shiny, iridescent. Ooh, that's a big word. This looks like maybe some coral or something. No. Oh, this rock came from the ocean. Mm -hmm. Holy rock. <laughs> well, thank you, Snoopy, for bringing us the rock because that's what the boys have here. They have the letter R. Thank you, Trey and, and Jeremy, for holding this R for us. The capital letter R. Would you like to learn to write the capital letter R? Would you? Come on over here. Look, we have our green, yellow, and red lines. We'll start on the black dot. Now, watch this. To make a capital letter R, you go straight down. Now watch this. You pick your marker up. You make a bubble. That looks like... P. It looks like a P. It looks like I might be going to make a B, but look what I do. I put a lazy arm out to the red. R. R. Capital letter R. What sound does R make? R. R. It's kind of... R. 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 Red. Rooster. Now a small letter R. You start on the yellow line. Watch me, boys and girls. Go down to the red line. Go back up to the yellow, and just before you get there, you put half of a hump. Look, if I'd brought it all the way down, it would be a small N, but it's a small R. What sound does R make? Err. Err. Mm. I know a word. I know a word that we could have some fun with. Ready? What letter is this? R. R. Err. What letter is this? E. E. F. And I hear them saying this, so I'm going to just do it. Now, you all don't get ahead of me. Somebody just fell out of their chair. This is a small letter D. It says D. R. Ed. R. Ed. Red. Red, like the red line on my red fingernail polish. Like my red scarf. And now you know the sound of R. Now we've learned the letter R sounds like R. Letter R. Now that we've learned the letter R, let's go to letter S. S sounds like S. Our next letter is the letter S. I had to have a little help here from Jenny. Uh -huh. And also, Snoopy brought me something really interesting that starts with an S. Look at this. Any of you know what it is? This is not Sally. This is a starfish. You know what? At one time, this was alive. Look, on the underside. Oh, oh do you know it's there? I bet I can tell you something that you didn't know. A starfish has an eye on the end of each one of its legs. I guess we call those legs an eye to see with. Uh -huh. Thanks, Snoopy. Uh -huh. You didn't know you brought me something so valuable, huh? Uh -huh. Thanks, Jenny. Come on over here and let me teach you how to make the letter S. You know what? This is a little difficult, so watch, please. As always, we have our green, yellow, and red line, and I think Snoopy must have stepped on someone. Watch, Snoopy. Come on over here a little closer so you won't have to worry. You have, first thing you have to do is go up and touch the green line, come around to the yellow. Watch this. You're going to make a C like up top, and then you change your mind and go the other direction. You're going this way, and then you go back the other way. Now, a small letter S, you start on the dot again, you go up to the yellow line, 
curve around and change your mind and go back the other way. S. S. Huh. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Uh -huh. You know what? I know a word we can we can sound this word. What's this? I heard somebody say snake. And you know what? That is the sound that a snake makes. All right. Did you see that marker give out on me right there? Yes. Okay. What letter? S. S. What sound? What letter is this? I. I. What sound? I. And this is a small letter T. And it says T. Now sound with me. I. I. It. Sit. Sit. And that's what you're going to get to do. It's go sit. And now you know the sound of S. Now we've learned the letter S. Sounds like S. Letter S. Now that we've learned the letter S, let's go to letter T. T sounds like T. And this is our next letter, the letter T. Ashley's helping with... Well, here comes our pokey, Snoopy. What has she got up her sleeve this time? Oh, I know, you're being a turtle. And, and you brought a tape for Dwayne to listen to. <laughs> oh, this is not the kind of tape that we listen to here. Do you listen to this kind of tape and go like, no, not even like that. <laughs> he says he doesn't want to play it. Thanks, Dwayne. And this turtle, you know what? There's no one home. There's no one home. No. It's a turtle shell. No, 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 no. no one's home. I told you. He's gone. Could I put this around my wrist? Uh-huh. Well, this is the letter we're studying today. Oh. T. T. T says t. t. Not actually t, but t. t. It's like tie my shoe. Did I hear someone say that? Yeah, Come on over here. Let me show you how to make a T. Start on the black dot, of course, on the green line. Watch this, boys and girls. You watch, too. Watch, start on the green dot, go straight down to the red. And to make the capital letter T, you put a top on. Top. That's a pretty easy letter. And so is this one. Small letter T, you go straight down just like this. Oh, it looks like an L, uh -oh. except that you cross it in the middle. T. Oh. T. T and small T. T. I know a word we can read. What's this? This is a capital letter T. What sound does T make? T. This is what? This is a small letter O. Oh. What sound does O make? Ah. Uh. Uh. And this is a small letter P. What sound does P make? P. Okay, sound it with me. T. A. T. A. Top. Top. Like the top of your head. And she has a bow on the top of her head. And now you know the sound of T. And now we've learned the letter T. It sounds like T, the letter T. So won't you sing along with me? Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Oh! All right, Snoothy, I'll tell them. Snoothy says that's our 15-minute lesson for today. You can either stop the tape now or go on to our next 15-minute lesson. See you later. It's playtime. It's time for our next lesson. 15 minutes is all it takes. Now sing the alphabet with me. Are you ready? All right then, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters that are in the alphabet. Are you ready now? Now we'll learn the letter B. Sounds like V. Letter V. Now we'll learn the letter V. V sounds like V. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoozy. I hope you had a good playtime. We're ready for our next letter. <laughs> Through the turnip. <laughs> Tiptoe through the turnip? Uh-huh. I 
<laughs> oh, I know why she said that. Instead of bringing a fruit basket, she brought a vegetable basket. Look at here. It's carrots. Mm-hmm. And pepper. Uh-huh. Right? And here's a potato. Uh-huh. And a cauliflower in there. And that's why she was saying tiptoe through the turnips instead of the tulips. Michelle, would you give me that letter that we're going to study today? Thank you, Snoopy. Pretty basket you have, too. And Michelle has our letter already. This is the letter V. V says V. Michelle had to get a little hug. V says V. You have to bite your lip. V. Actually, not very hard now. V. Come on over here, and I'll show you how to make the V. Come on over here. Snoopy's telling them all to get in their seat. That's right. Thank you, Snoopy. All right, watch this. Start on the black dot. You're going to make a lazy line down to the red. Do you pick your marker up? No, you can, but you don't have to. And then you go back up to the green. And you know what? The small letter V is just like the capital letter V. Look at this. Easy. You can make a V with your fingers, can't you? Can you? Can you make a V? Look, even Snoopy can make a V. I know a word we can sound. What's this? This, what is this? Oh, I heard him say vase. Vase starts with a V. V says V. What is this? A. A says A. And this is, what is this letter? N. What sound does N make? N. Now let's sound. V. N. Van. Van. Like you drive. And now you know the letter V. Now we've learned the letter V Sounds like V Letter V Now that we've learned the letter V Let's go to letter W W sounds like W Our next letter is W And Snoopy went to get us some water Because she needed a little drink Come on in here, Snoopy I'm kind of thirsty, too I think the boys are... No, I'll, I'll go ahead and let them Do you want them to have a drink? <laughs> oh, that was a trick. <laughs> I think Andy got most of that trick. It wasn't really water, was it? It was confetti. Oh. Hey, boys and girls, watch up here and I'll t show you how to make the capital letter W and the small letter W. Andy and Jennifer, can you watch just a moment? And then we'll help you. Watch. Look up here at the black dot. Dwayne, watch. Watch. It's like making a V. You come down lazy line to the red, go back up to the green, back down to the red, and back up to the green. It's like making a double V. I don't know why they call it a double U, because it's a double V, right? Double U? Double U is really a double V. And a small letter W, look at this. Small W is just like a capital W, except that it's under the yellow line. W. I know a perfect what? word for what? us to read. What? 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 what is the sound of W? What? what? As in water that wasn't water? I <laughs> know <laughs> that was a trick. What's this? Help me, boys and girls. What? What? Watch this. What does start with the W, but it doesn't sound. That's a W. What sound does W have? What? What? What is this letter right here? E. e. What sound is E? E. e. And this is what letter? T. T. And what sound is it? T. 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 Now help me sound, everybody. W. E. T. W. E. T. Wet. Wet. And look at these boys and girls. They're all wet, but not with water. And now you know the sound of W. Now we've learned the W. Sounds like W. W. Now that we've learned the W, let's go to X, Y, Z. Here's Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. Boys and girls, we're going to take all three of the last three letters of the alphabet all together. And the last three letters of the alphabet are X, Y, and Z. X, Y, Z. And I'll tell you why we're going to take them. It's because there's very few words that start with X. I can only think of one that you would know, and that would be x-ray. Thank you, Lindsay, for helping. Also, why? Why? There's very few words that start with Y. The sound of Y is Y. 
Now, when Y is on the end of the word, yeah. it's a different sound. But at the beginning of a word, it says <coughs> yes. Yeah. Did I tell you that X says yes? Yeah. Like, yeah. like two sounds together, C yeah. and S. And Y says yuck, like yuck. Jenny said. Yuck. Or yo-yo or yellow. Thank you, Chris. And here's Josh is holding my letter Z for me. Z tickles your teeth. It says mm. Mm. Ooh, it tickles my teeth. Doesn't it tickle you? Like zebra, right. Now come on over here and I'm going to show you how... Come on, Snoopy. I'm going to show you how to make each one of these letters. To make an X, an X is really easy. Start on the black dot, go lazy line down to the red, and you're going to have to cross it right in the center. Start back up on the green, go down to the red. Whoops. Now that's a big X. The little X is just like this. Watch. Big X, little X. X says, and usually it's on the end of a word, like box, box. All right, now, why? A Y is kind of hard. Watch this. To make a capital Y, start on the black dot. You make the short side first. This is where boys and girls have a hard time. They try to make the long side first. You make the short side first, come back up, and now you make the long side all the way down to the red. All the way down to the red. And you know what? The small letter Y is just like the capital letter Y. I started on the yellow line, down to the red, Start back on the yellow line. It is a lawbreaker. It does not stop on red. Why? No. Why says what? Yeah. 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 Not what? Yeah. 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 Like in yuck, as Jenny said a while ago. Or yellow. Now, what's the Z? A Z is kind of hard unless you do it like this. You make a line across on the green. You make a line across on the red. And then you put a lazy line and connect the back to the front. Yes, that is an easy way. My marker was squeaky. Look at this. To make a small z. Watch this. Same way. Same way. All of these have the same. That's a good thing, right? For the last three letters of the alphabet. Make, whoops, my marker went crazy just then. I can probably erase it a little bit. Put a line at the top. A line on the red. That's the bottom. And connect it with a lazy line right here. What letter is that? Z. Z. What sound does Z make? It tickles your teeth, not z, but mm. You know what? There's very few words that start with any of these, but I know a word that we can sound. What's this? Now, it's going to be a big word. Oh, but don't be afraid, because, you know, a lot of big words are just little words put together. What letter is this? F. F. What sound does F make? F. What letter is this? A. What is A? A. What sound does A make? A. A. What letter is this? N. What sound does N make? N. Mm. What letter is this? T. T. What letter is this? You know, we know all of our letters and all of our sounds now. It's why we can do this. What letter is this? A. 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 What letter is this? S. S. What letter is this? T. T. What sound? T. T. This is the letter I. What sound? E. I. And here is the last letter C. E. What sound? K. Now look, we're gonna sound. We're gonna break it into three different, three small words like this. Oh. Let's sound it. F and F and fan. Now remember that. T as tas. Remember that. Fan tas. Now listen to this. T ik. T ik. Tick. Now come back and let's see if we remember. Fantastic. What? Fantastic. And you know what? Oh, that is that is fantastic. And you know what else, boys and girls? Learning to read is fantastic because if you can read, it opens the door to all other learning. And you know what? I hope you've enjoyed being in our classroom today because we've enjoyed having you. Bye bye. Let's sing the alphabet. Let's go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Those are the letters. Twenty six is all you get. <laughs> Learning how to read is so much fun. It's so much fun for everyone. If you want to learn your A B C's, then sing along with me. Let's go. A B C D E F G 
WXYZ, those are the letters. Now you know the alphabet. You can learn to read with Mrs. Phipps and Snoopy. Mrs. Phipps will show you now.